Hello, I'm Jason. The other day I had this crazy idea to make a portrait, and not just any portrait, the greatest portrait ever. The way I see it, there are three things that make a great portrait. One, the right subject. Two, an expression of personality. And three, capturing a moment in time. Fortunately, good handwriting is not a requirement. For my subject, I chose this guy. The way he tells it, he's the perfect choice. Now for personality. This is where things get a little crazy. When your name is Trump, normal paper won't do. These are real uncut dollar bills. I had them laying around, but you can actually buy them at a place properly named moneyfactorystore.gov. $100 bills probably would have been better, but they don't come in big sheets. Next, I picked up an assortment of spray tans, bronzer, and makeup. Last but not least, gold. Yes, this is real 23 karat gold leaf. If you were Donald Trump, you put a thin layer of gold on everything, even money. To gild with gold leaf, you need this stuff called sizing. Basically, it's like a glue that you put on with a brush. Once it gets tacky, you can apply the gold leaf. I'm using these handy patent sheets that makes the whole process quite easy. After an area is covered, you brush over it to remove all the loose bits, which turn into thousands of golden snowflakes flying around. Now I'm going to apply some frisket mask. This stuff is used a lot with watercolors. When you apply it, it goes on white, but turns into a clear rubbery-like substance that can be peeled off. It doesn't damage the surface and protects it from getting unwanted paint in the area. I'm using it to keep overspray from getting everywhere. Okay, let's make this dry in a snap. Time to spray on some foundation. The gold leaf is finally set enough that I can put some frisket on it. This stuff has an awful smell. It reminds me of this prank I did, decorating a giant cookie with an assortment of disgusting condiments to look like icing. I gave it to these guys and they were tricked into eating it. You can find the video on my channel. The reaction was hilarious. These spray cans can't really make fine details, so I made a few stencils. I don't really like the harsh line stencils make, so I'm using an odd shaped piece of poster board to block some of the spray so I can control it and blend the edges. Hey, get your head out of the way. I'm trying to see what you're doing. By turning the poster board, I can get different curves and edges. You can also spray right at it so the paint bounces off to get some interesting effects. Oh, I forgot number three, capturing a moment. Today is election day and the polls are all closed and it appears that this man will now go by the name of President Trump. This is a moment that could change the world. Please help me capture the moment by sharing your thoughts in the comments. Love him, hate him, or just thinking to yourself, WTF. This special little rubber sticks to the frisket and helps lift it up. I put a thick layer on so it's coming off like an alien skin with a sunburn. Well, there it is, the greatest portrait ever. This has been fun. If you want to see more crazy art, check out my other videos or subscribe. I'm out of here.